so he's gonna be directing that one because he took over DC. Hey Huskies, I'm Noah and you're watching the Hills Report. I'm Parker and here are this week's announcements. Tonight is our first home football game. Our football team plays against Colony High tonight at 7 p.m. The theme is USA, so we're red, white, and blue. The Pride Point system is now updated and Redemption Days are now on the last Wednesday of the month. Starting September 25th at lunch, each Pride Point must have your name, student ID, grade, and teacher's name. At the end of lunch, a Pride Point will be drawn and two winners are gonna be announced on the Thursday morning for announcements. The teachers and students will be able to win a gift card for a local business, Husky Italia, or tickets to a sporting event. Homecoming tickets are still available at $60 or $55 with an ASB card. Homecoming is next Saturday the 14th from 7 to 10.30 p.m. Homecoming court nominations will be announced Monday at lunch. Credit recovery starts Tuesday, September 10th, so make sure to check your emails. Senior night is Wednesday, September 18th with information for your parents about what's ahead for your senior year. NCAA night is on September 26th from 6.30 to 7.30. Make sure to attend if you're interested in playing a sport at the collegiate level. Boys soccer tryouts are September 23rd and 30th from 7 to 9 a.m. at Husky Stadium. Now let's take a look at the upcoming college presentations. Yo, Ethan, have you started your college list yet? No, I don't know where to apply. I don't know how to find any schools. Well, the Career Center got some college presentations next week, starting with Brown University, UNLV, Hawaii Pacific University, and University of Laverne on Monday, September 9th. Oh, great. That's then on Tuesday, September 10th, there's University of Redlands and Azusa Pacific University. Oh, cool. So then on Wednesday, the 11th, there's Pepperdine University and San Francisco State. Great. That's nope. it, right? There's Soka University on September 12th and Mount Sac on September 13th. For future presentations, check out the Career Center for the full list. Now for our next segment with advice for our newer Huskies. What grade are you in and what's your name? Yo. Hmm? What grade are you in and what's your name? Me? Oh, yeah. it's um, New Jeans by New Jeans. No, what's your name and what grade are you in? Oh, uh, yeah, my name is Kian. I'm a senior. Yeah. What advice would you have for incoming freshmen? Freshmen? Um, I would say just manage your time well, you know, balance out yeah, activities, classes. Just make manage time and also get enough sleep. You need that. My name is Eric Ortiz, and the grade I am, I'm a senior. What advice do you have for freshmen? Uh, advice I'd give for an incoming freshman, I'd just say bring a pencil because you'll be pretty much useless without one. Okay. My name is Nathan Schwartz and I'm a junior. What's some advice you have for incoming freshmen? Uh, <laughs> I think a good thing for freshmen, especially this year, is learn how the school traffic works with where you walk. Because that's been a huge problem so far. Hey, so what's your name? My name's Erman and I'm a junior. You're a junior? Cool. Do you have any advice for freshmen? Uh, don't rush. I mean, school is there to be there. I mean, uh, let's see. Choose your classes. It's going to determine on what you do in life. So be smart about your classes. So one of my biggest pieces of advice is to join clubs and be active in events. We have homecoming coming up. We have uh, Battle of the Bone coming up. Definitely go to those events so you can meet new people there. And also, Feel comfortable asking your teachers questions. Don't just sit there and try to figure out yourself. They are, they're here to help you, and that's their job. Yeah. I think the best thing you can do as a freshman coming in is plug into the school campus, get involved in groups, leadership, or clubs, sports, and it'll help you connect to the community. You'll have a great time if you plug in. Thank you. Thanks for that great advice. The Hills Report now has an official Instagram. Follow us at chhshillsreport.official. DM us if you and your club or activity want to be featured on the Hills Report. As always, all students parking in the parking lot must have a valid parking pass or they risk being ticketed or towed. That's all for this week, Huskies. And as always, remember to be safe, safe respectful, and responsible each and every day. Until next week, Huskies. There we go.